Welcome to the channel ladies and gentlemen if you're using your Android device for work as well as personal today I'm going to show you how you can actually create a work profile and separate personal and work data. Ladies and gentlemen, first of all, we need to figure out what a work profile is on your Android. So it creates a secure separate space for your work apps and your data while keeping your personal information completely private and isolated. This, I think, is a fantastic option. Let's have a look at what we require. So you need an Android 5.0 or later. You can check this in your version settings. Then you need company supports uh, and Android enterprises. So your organization might use a mobile device management which is an MDM and then you need to download an Intune company portal or your company's required device policy app. Here's a step-by-step -step process. So download and open the Intune company portal or your organization's designated management application from your Google Play Store. Enter your work or school account credentials, the same email and password that you use for your company system. The next thing over here is you need to accept the terms. So tap on begin and carefully review privacy information, accept the terms and conditions for the device enrollment. Then you need to wait as the system automatically creates and activates your secure work profile. And this could take a few minutes, so be patient. You need to then configure a screen lock. This could be a pin, a password, or any biometrics if it is prompted. And then this is mandatory for your work profile security. So make sure that you do um, incorporate one of these locks. Then confirm device settings, complete the enrollment process, and look for work apps marked with a briefcase icon. Some pro tips for your work profile management. Keeping it completely separate. So your work apps, your notifications, and your data remain completely isolated from personal content. You can also pause and disable your work profile instantly through the Android Quick Settings panel. And you can access help and troubleshooting directly through your company portal app. I hope this was helpful.